Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades, all rested up after, you know, a, a whole week of trading. And yep, yeah, today is a Saturday, but we're not going to do stock Saturdays. We're going to do stock Sundays. So tomorrow, a special video is going to be about stocks. And yeah, we'll cover a little bit about crypto, but mostly it's going to be about stocks and what happened during the week as I do trade uh, stocks as well. And crypto is a big part of a big part of my life, you know. Now, especially because I have this YouTube channel and uh, this great, amazing community on Discord. But yeah, what what basically uh, we're gonna do Sunday tomorrow is we're just gonna go over some stocks that I own and some stocks I invest in. And if you guys want, leave some leave some stocks picks in the in the comment section, and then I'll go over it. So yeah, let's just get into it. We can see that. Uh, Bitcoin actually came back down to the $60,000 level and had a wick below it and is actually for, uh, formed a very, very beautiful bullish divergence as we made a low here and a lower low here. And we can see on the RSI, fantastic, uh, uh, sorry, higher high right here. So bullish divergence right there. It would have been a great time to enter at $60,000. I had some trades in at 60,400 and I closed them at around 61,200 I believe. So I made a nice little gain there and then it came back down formed a nice little W as well. But right now we are facing some resistance at the $61,700 level as outlined before. So just going to be watching that level for the time being. If we can get above it, great. If we can't, then yeah, I'd be looking at the $60,000 level again and watching for the 59,460. And if we do end up breaking that, then I'm looking at 58,000, right, to 57,000. So I wanna see this green uh, support box hold. This could definitely be, be a great support area to hold. If we do come back down, and we, I expect a bounce up to the upside. And we can see that I think that comes perfectly in line. The, sorry, this is coming close to being in line with uh, 59,000 to all the way down here, 57,000. So those are some key support areas. I expect some big buy orders to buy up the price at the moment. And we can see that Ethereum is doing something similar as well. Just following what Bitcoin is doing as well. Another beautiful bullish divergence as well. Just forming a new, sorry, holding their low, right? The same low, but the RSI is making a higher high. So that is also a bullish divergence. So looking very good for Ethereum as well. Hope you guys are doing really well in your trades. I can see that people are posting in XP trades like Rick making amazing gains almost every single day. And our VeChain investment is actually doing amazing as well. We are actually up over 15% now. So from our from our spot buy right here, buying on the spot market, our investment challenge is about 15%. So really, really awesome. Let's take a look at it on the larger time frames on market side first. So let's take a look on the daily the daily we can see that we are still bullish and the money flow is coming back in the green a little bit right there and you can see on the weekly time frame is extremely bullish for vchain so we can maybe even get ready to make possibly new higher highs on vchain so let's just keep an eye on it see what happens right now we're all the way down here but the momentum waves oops sorry the momentum waves are starting to climb back up with the VWAP, so looking really, really good all in all. And we can see that the RSIs are also coming up as well. And let's just take a look at Bitcoin one more time on the weekly time frame. Looking really, really good. I expect maybe another candle, like so right here, like a minus three, maybe in an in in 11 or a nine even. And then that would be technically less bullish. It, look, it could show like a slowing down of, of the momentum. But technically still bullish and we could actually make a new higher high so just keep that into account yeah we could take another dip to 57,000, but it would not be the end of the world because if the next week is still bullish i expect very very good stuff to happen so we could actually see on the daily time frame as well on the on the ema ribbons like i've said before like we were so far away from them it's only natural if we get closer come come back closer to them and maybe test it as support and bounce right off of it so maybe putting some buy orders at fifty-eight thousand two hundred is not a terrible idea you got you could have a really good chance of maybe getting your order filled as we can see right here rally up hold it as support 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 until it breaks and then we just recover right back from it which is really nice to see you can also look at the weekly time frames as well, but the weekly is all the way down here at 48,000 and I don't think we're going to touch that for a while. So <laughs> anyways, 
Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make some really good trades. Hope this analysis helped you. If you enjoyed the analysis, please please leave a like in the description. It really helps the channel. And you can also share the video with your friends. Help the channel grow. Once we get to 10,000, remember guys, we're going to do another giveaway. So if you want another giveaway, share it with your friends. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.